Hello friends, it's Ms. Vo here with this week's craft. For today, we are going to be making some felt ornaments that we will be embroidering and stuffing for Valentine's Day. I originally gave these to you back in December in hopes of making them into Christmas ornaments, but I think they're just as fabulous for Valentine's Day, so let's do it, okay? For this particular project, you will be needing your ornament pattern cutouts, a pair of paper scissors. We have some scrap pieces of felt that I had given you previously, as well as some little bit of stuffing. Your pens, your needles, embroidery floss. I gave you these individual little hanks as well as some ribbon. You will need some sharp sewing shears for cutting out your felt. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and begin, okay? Cool. Your first step will be to cut out of your paper pattern, whichever one you want to use. So I think for this particular demonstration, I am going to cut out the diamond. I wanna do the diamond this time to go with my awesome gold felt that I have here. I'm gonna cut that out. Cool. Now that I have my diamond shape cut out, I want to make sure that I have two of the same um, pattern, okay? Because we're going to be piecing these together and stitching them. So you're going to need two of them, okay? So regardless of if you do this little peacock eye like I did in here, or if you're just doing a nice little heart that was gonna be a stuffed heart, you're going to want two, okay? So how I make two is just simply by folding it. Folding it, giving myself enough room to put on my pattern. That's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and pin that down. Making sure that I have it pinned to both layers because I want two. Very important. Okay, pinned through both layers. You can see my pin right there. And now I'm ready to cut this out, okay? Using my very, very sharp shears, not my paper scissors, which are over there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out with felt because you're not going to be making a traditional seam with sewing. You want it to be nice and even. We're gonna take this felt and just kind of put it to the side for, you know, making more or other projects in the future. But you should have plenty to make lots of these little ornaments because they're pretty small little patterns. Okay. So now I have two of my diamond shape, like so. At this point, I'm going to want to attach my ribbon so that I can hang my ornament. And how I did this, I kind of had this fat, fat stack of like, it's pretty wide, this black white ribbon. And so what I wanted to do was kind of narrow it out a little bit. So I just simply like cut it down the middle, like a strip, like so my paper scissors for this because it's not fabric really and I just kind of cut it mm -hmm. right take a little bit I don't need that much just enough to make a little loop so you can hook it and I gave you quite a bit like I said I want you to be able to make it Make it once, kind of go back to the drawing board and say, oh, I had fun making that. I think I wanted to make one like this this time. 
for another sweetheart or Valentine or someone that you just care about. Okay, so there's my loop that I made to stitch onto the back and I just kind of tack that on the back like so to one of them, okay? So this can be as such. This will go on here and then this will be the front, okay? The second piece will be the front, which gets decorated. I have used a split stitch here because I like the split stitch because it always makes kind of a nice little just like outline. And then I did a star stitch. And of course I've done a blanket stitch around the edge to make a nice pretty seam all the way around. As you can see here, I put the eye of my peacock feather. We did that in a embroidered blanket stitch to attach that to the front. I haven't attached this one yet because I'm thinking I'm going to leave this one I don't know, maybe a little open as a little pocket. The great thing about this is that if you want to leave this open as a basket, you don't have to make it an ornament. You can just kind of use it. Oh, I'm going to tuck a little gift inside. And that would be cool. Like maybe a little friendship bracelet or something else that you may make. So you're not really beholden to make these in ornaments. So here we go. What I do want to show you though, before I continue is how to split your embroidery floss because if you're going to be sewing with this it is like six layers thick so we're not going to want to <clears throat> sew with the entire thickness of it okay and how we do that is by splitting it which i will show you right now i'm going to use one of these darker darker browns so first I take my hank that I provided for you and I slowly separate it so I can get one color. There are my separate strands of floss, strands of floss of different colors that Miss Fo has provided for you. Let's get this out of your way so you can see. I'm gonna do this with brown floss right here. How to do that is you cut a length of it. Boom. I'm going to cut a length. And from the center, I kind of take them and pull it apart. So you can see all of the strands are kind of twisted together there, right? At this point, I take my finger sort of towards the middle and I'm going to divide this in half, meaning there will be three strands and three strands. So this is a three strand embroidery that I'm doing. You can go as many as two or if you like the look of one, that's totally your prerogative, but it's easiest to split in half first, okay? So I have my three and then I take my other three and voila, three on this side, three on this side, they're all together still and they're ready to sew with. Okay, or embroider with rather. I'm gonna do that for you one more time with my brown. So, as you can see here, there it is. It's all twisted up, six beautiful gold strands and I split three on one side, one, two, three, on the other, one, two, three. Pulling with my fingers and slowly, slowly, because it is twisted, okay? So you don't want to end up with a knot. Just take your time and slowly untwist those threads until they just come apart 
nice and even just like that okay and that is how we separate our embroidery floss to get ready to sew with it very important okay so that's that i'm gonna go ahead and like i said all i did was stitch it so that it was tacked on one two three x x chain stitch you can do whatever you want is what i'm trying to tell you to do so at this point i've kind of left a little opening because i do kind of want to stuff this and i'm gonna go ahead and do so oh how cute it doesn't take much stuffing how cute and at this point i would take my needle and continue with my blanket stitch to finish off my nice cute little puffy heart ornament that's ready gonna be ready to give to my friends well that's pretty much it um i will be with you to finish this off i have some links to a blanket stitch a chain stitch as well as the split stitch and star stitch so you can get a pretty good idea as to what i'm talking about in terms of the embroidery especially the blanket stitch okay so that is this week's craft um i will see you this week and happy crafting bye friends